Hey, this is Mark at the Action Figuratorium, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool little cardboard cutout set from the Museum of Modern Art that, uh, strangely enough, you can find these uh, pretty much anywhere for cheap, but uh, you can also sort of create your own. I'm going to show you how. Anyways, this makes a fantastic backdrop for people doing action figure photography, and I'm going to show it off to you today. So uh, stick around. Okay, so this, like all my stories, uh, originated at the Goodwill by my house for next to nothing, you know, four, maybe five bucks, something like that. And um, the reason why I was attracted to it is because uh, it said MoMA, Museum of Modern Art, uh, Modern Kids, and to me that meant that this is something that a museum in Manhattan sold in their gift shop, so it's probably worth checking out. And I saw what it was, and I thought, hmm, this is absolutely what I need, this is perfect. And so what it is, is it's a little kit that uh, kids would have got that comes with these pieces that when you uh, assemble them, uh, they turn into little buildings, little skyscrapers, and there's a plethora of little sort of uh, different types of architectures. There's one that becomes kind of an Eiffel Tower. There's sort of a, uh, you know, like a planetarium one, round domed one. There's also, of course, you know, what are obviously trees and whatnot. Now, the thing that is particularly cool about these, in my opinion, is that they're really just cardboard shapes with colors on them. There isn't a whole lot of um, attempts at photorealism to try to make this look something real. In fact, it's surrealism. It looks kind of like the um, film introductions that uh, Saul Bass did in the 60s. You know, straight out of something like um, a show like That Girl. But when you uh, see that what you're doing is you're kind of filling up the space behind your figures, it makes not only a cool looking little sort of uh, cityscape, but it also feels like it's alive because there's a lot of color and squiggly lines within the uh, buildings. And so, if you wanted to make your own, it'd be very easy to just get some sort of stiff cardboard like they did, uh, cut some generic shapes, you know, duplicate it and put a cross hatch so that you can put them together. And then you could essentially just take different pieces of uh, colored shelf paper and uh, and glue it on. You don't even have to really, you know, like here they, they clearly tried to make it look sort of like a, like a brownstone, right? But you don't even need to do that. You could just put different types of colored paper on it and you just get something that the camera can see in the background and people can identify as shapes going up and their mind will take them the rest of the distance. Anyways, if you are looking for these on eBay, they do not cost a lot, but you can always make your own. And so definitely check these out. And, uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you are uh, subscribing here for more of these fantastic videos with photography guides and uh, toy collecting. So catch you on the next one.